Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I decided to go ahead and press record because I wanted to try the shingling method. And I've never tried the shingling method before. I saw it on Instagram first. And then after I saw it on Instagram, I decided to go ahead and look up more about it on YouTube, which I did. And I was surprised that that's actually a thing. Just got out the shower and I already put a mask in my hair and all that good stuff. Condition, shampoo, everything. So it's the only time I ever came close to like the shingling method is when I prepare to twist my hair, but I never done this before. This is my first time, never heard of shingling method ever. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this video. And if the door starts knocking, you guys know it's my daughter, so <laughs> she's out there. I'm kind of sick, that's because I'm getting over this cold that I had these past couple days and that's where I'm at with this cold. So first thing we're going to use is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I'm going to put this on first because I said that you need like a leave-in, a leave-in, gel, and oil. But I'm adding one extra thing because I like to be extra when it comes to my hair. And so I'm going to use this Shea Moisture leave-in. You guys know I always use this. And then I'm going to use, followed up with the Curl Maker by Camille Rose. I'm going to use my Bounce Curl. I made a review on the Bounce Curl. If you guys want to see it, it's my previous video before my baby mama video. And I'm going to follow it up with the Black Castor Oil. So these are what we're using. And I'm using my spray bottle to wet my hair because as I was talking, my hair is drying. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. I don't have a comb, so I'm going to get a comb real quick using this comb here. According to this, I'm supposed to separate my hair, so what we're going to do is I'm going to section it down the middle first. I know this is like off hands on guys, and I'm going to put this one up, this side up first. work with this side and I'm going to pin this up. So according to this method, apparently this is supposed to help define your curls and that's what I really want to define my curls. Looking off the camera, that's because there's a huge mirror in front of me so that's what I'm looking at. But I'm going to go ahead and spray. It says you're supposed to make sure your hair is wet for this to work. So I'm going to go in with my leave-in. Just grab a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my roots. And my roots are mainly the ones that get, like, um, it gets puffy. So I don't want it puffy. And they said if you don't want that, then you want to focus a little bit more on what your ends but I'm gonna go ahead and put it everywhere and follow it up with this the Camille Rose and this is like a like a gel not really a gel but it doesn't like scrunch up and hold my hair like it like a gel would do and then I'm gonna follow it up with this and I'm gonna do the oil last I'm done doing the sectioning but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hair and I'm going to focus it on the ends. Apparently what you're supposed to do, separate it. And then you just keep going. Separate it. And you just keep going down. I'm going to use the back of my cleanser for my face and I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, bounce curl gel on here like this so that I can dip my finger if I feel like I need more gel at the top because I can see it frizzing right now so I'm just gonna do that so and then it says you can scrunch your hair if you feel like you need to scrunch your hair so I'm gonna scrunch my hair because I feel the need of scrunching my hair but while I'm doing my hair I want to talk to you guys <laughs> last night um, 
I was cramping in the middle of the night. I think it was around 3 in the morning. So I guess it's morning time, not rather not night time. But yeah, I was cramping so bad last night. And I'm going to use the oil. So I was cramping so bad last night. I thought I was going to go into labor. And right now I'm currently 31 weeks. I turned 32 weeks on Sunday. So I was kind of caught off guard because I'm not ready yet. Samantha is not ready yet for the baby to come and I'm only 32 weeks baby's not really full term yet so I was kind of nervous and it got to the point where I was like man I need to go on Google and see what the heck this what the heck is this you know so I went on Google and I saw that it's Braxton Hicks now I never had I never experienced this when I was with when I was pregnant with Kamira so it was kind of neat to me because I've never felt Braxton Hicks when I was pregnant with Kamira I just got the whole contraction thing like right before I was going to labor so yeah it was Braxton Hicks and it felt like a like a menstrual cramp but it was like 10 times worse and that's like the pain I was experiencing last night was nothing compared to um, was nothing compared to labor like labor like actual labor pain so but I kept breathing through it because I was like oh my gosh I hope I'm not but it subsided like after an hour of like on and off type of contractions it's crazy because I was like oh my gosh I'm not ready <laughs> but yeah that's what was going on with me last night or this morning early this morning but because my mom was telling me like maybe the baby's getting ready because I've been working out so much that maybe the baby is like ready to debut you know but I'm not ready for the baby to debut because I don't even have baby clothes I only have like four outfits if you guys hear barking, that's my dog. He likes to bark at random stuff. He likes to bark at his shadow. Hey. like a long process I think it's a long ass process because I'm my hair is so damn long so this video I'm gonna have to like speed it up because this is too we're gonna be here forever guys we're gonna be here for like three hours trying to do this You're the best. I'm gonna put some more in my Wait, head. not not that. No, don't, 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 don't. What you about to do? I'm about to put in my hair. You about to put in your hair? Yeah. Cause my hair, my hair like not, not.
end of this. You guys can see this is like a long process, I feel like. If my hair was a little bit shorter, I probably would do this all the time, but I think me clumping and how I normally style my hair is what I should be doing right now because I feel like this is such a long process and you guys, my arms are burning. I kind of want to just give up right now, <laughs> but I'm already at the end so I'm not. You can see the difference between just regular clumping my hair and you know like raking my hair and things like that. Like I'm raking my hair right now, but actually separating each strand. It's, but if your hair is short, then yeah, you could definitely do this. But if you guys notice, I'm like grabbing bigger portions because my I'm like tired already. <laughs> so I'm just doing what I can to get to the finish line. But I do this on a daily. No, I'm gonna be late to the dang my my appointment. What the heck? I'm gonna be late to the party. I give those girls props. I seen the girls do these. I think I seen like a couple girls do this like half. Like their hair is not as long as mine, but their hair is pretty long. And shoot, they was doing this this method. I don't got time. If you guys see up close, my hair is like really soaked with product, and I can see how the de definition defined curls comes into play here. wait a couple of hours my hair usually takes like three four five hours to dry fully and if not I will try and diffuse it with my hair dryer but let's try let's make sure we're not doing that but this is pretty much it and I'm gonna wait to see it dry and yeah I'll be back guys I'm big bug I want to show you guys again my hair and it is right now I think it's eight 8 o'clock at night and I want to just show you guys. Let me zoom in real quick. If you guys see this, my curls are actually intertwined with one another. And I've never seen my hair do that before. Yeah, I'm actually liking this method. But like I said, I probably wouldn't do this all the time because it's a long process for me. But you guys can see that. I would show okay. everyone my poppy. <laughs> you want to show everybody your what? Look at my pop is so cute, guys. Is it so cute, guys? That's pretty much it on this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm actually satisfied with the shingling method. I'm glad I tried it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys.